So welcome everybody. Um, today's topic is there is only this. There is only this. And we're done. <laughs> there is only this. That's all there has to be said, but we'll talk a little bit more about it. So there's only this. There is only what's happening right now as you are watching me, as I'm looking at the camera. There is only this right here, right now. There is no past. There is no future. And there is only this. And sometimes I would even say that sometimes there's not even just this. There's no present moment. Because, because if you think about it, present moment refers to the past or the present. I mean, the past or the future, I should say. Right? So what we're talking about here is some kind of sharing or communication that, that may have a resonance with you. Um, or it doesn't have a resonance with you. And it doesn't matter. We're talking here about you might put under the umbrella of um, non-duality. As a matter what you call it. I just use that word because it seems to be what I am conveying here. So there is no past. There is no future. There is only this. There is only this. In this moment, right now, wherever you are, whatever you're doing is what? Life, right? Life is happening now. The separated self has a whole story about what yesterday was or what the past was. Right before we before I started this talk, we were talking about how I went to see Notre Dame de Paris, and so that was on Saturday night. Saturday night is not real; it is a figment of my separated self's imagination. It is not what's happening. It didn't even really happen, because as soon as it happened, it was over and it's done, right? The mind holds on to that and creates a story about it. There's nothing wrong with any of this. Let me start by saying there's nothing wrong with remembering something and there's nothing wrong with looking at the future. No wrong, no right. So from, from this communication, the only thing that's happening is this. Now, this is where, this is where you start to see how the separated self begins to suffer. Because the separated self is connected to the story. And the story doesn't matter what the story is. It could be a good story. It could be a bad story. It could be the story of how you had the best upbringing in the world or it could be the story about how you had the worst upbringing in the world. It could be a story about uh, one day I am going to be happy. <laughs> and one day I'm going to finally leave that relationship. And one day I'm going to da 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 That is not real. That is a figment of the mind's imagination. It's not the truth. The only thing that's true is what's happening right now. This, as you listen to me, as you're either resonating or going, this guy's full of shit. <laughs> that's the only thing that's happening. There's only this. Take a deep breath. So if you come looking for something that's going to give you hope, that's going to give you inspiration, that's going to, this is not the message for you. There's nothing wrong with that. I want to say that there's nothing wrong with that at all, at all. But this is not that message. Okay. So 
Do you have anything to say or you want to ask any questions, please put them in the chat. Let's look over here. Um, let's see. Mel, good morning. Mel, um, Tiffany, how very rent of you. That's right. I'm not going to sing the song, Tiffany. I know you want me to sing the song. I'm not going to sing the song. This moment has potential and should be appreciated. Yes. Yes. And should is a very interesting, interesting word. I'm not singing the song. <laughs> so what do you think about there's only this? There is only this. Only my Dollywood cup. There's only my Dollywood cup. That's it. <laughs> There's only the thing in my tooth. <laughs> what is that? There's only my cat looking to kill the fly. <laughs> Why does everyone have such a different experience with this? Um, because because the separated self is filtering this. That's why. There's a whole bunch of little universes going on, right, Sue? There's a whole bunch of little universes going on. Sue's got a universe, Tiffany has a universe, Matt's has a universe. All these separated characters have a universe. And in that universe, this is something very different to that. But that's still relative to the self's universe. Get it? Tiffany says, my neck of the woods. Well, where do you think I, where do you think I got this? Where do you think I got this, Dollywood? My friends live in Knoxville. I've been there many times. I've been to Dollywood three times. <laughs> Gift, possibly. Oh, gift, possibly. Yeah, it could be a gift, but it's not. I actually bought it in Dollywood. So what else is anyone thinking about this? About this? <laughs> I feel our perception of time, of how we know it, is what helps feed the cycle. Let me say that again. Mel says, I feel our perception of time of how we know it is what well, we know it is what what helps feeds the cycle. Yes. The perception of time is what feeds the cycle. Well, the only yeah, exactly. Exactly. Perception. Perception only comes from the separated self. That's it. Perception only comes from the separated self. So it feeds the cycle over and over and over. Right. I had um, someone I know was having a catastrophizing session yesterday. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, that catastrophizing session thing. And um, my friend's like, well, what can I say? How can I help her and everything? And I'm like, you're not going to be able to help her. You're not going to be able to help her because her separated self is staying in her little loop of whatever. The only thing you could say is you're making a choice to do that. That's what's happening right now. Your separated self is, say, is staying within that loop of your own universe. You could say that. You could say, hey, you know, you're, you're choosing in this moment to stay on that catastrophizing little loop of, but you don't have to, but you don't have to. And, and there's no right or wrong, right? And then my friend texts me later and she's like, Oh my God, she feels totally different. I'm like, well, you know, that's about accepting what's happening. Catastrophizing is all about what could happen. What did I do wrong? What's going to happen, right? <sighs> Sue says, so without the separate, separate self, we would all experience this in the same way. Um, first of all, you're assuming that there is separate people, that there's separate, that there is separate people. 
And there is separate people in the separate. <laughs> no. There's absolute and there is relative. Relative is how the, sal- the separated self perceives. Absolute is absolute. There's only Dollywood cupping. <laughs> There's only breathing. <sighs> There's only thinking. There's only, and this is not to say that there is, there is only m- other things will come up in this moment, right? Or in this. So another, it might be uh, inspiration is happening. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. Oh, grief is happening. Oh, regret is happening. You understand? Yeah. Now you're singing this song. <laughs> Just talking about Rent the other day. Love that. One of my top five, top five favorite musicals. And when I give the, I want to say this, when I give the example of there's relative and there's absolute, that sounds like it's dualistic, but it's just a way of, uh, words are beyond all of this. Words are beyond all of this, right? So that's only a way of kind of guiding you to, because this is can't be understood. We'll talk about this this week. So, um, but yeah, there is only. And there's nothing, and it's everything at the same time. This contains nothing. And that nothing is everything. I love watching the little bubble at the bottom and it goes and it's it's constantly like monitoring the the Wi-Fi or whatever and it goes okay and then it goes poor okay poor <laughs> interesting and perplexing all at the same time. Of course. You might even say frustrating. Sometimes, sometimes frustrating. That doesn't matter, frustration can happen. There's only my cat eating. That's why I look over there. <laughs> Al says, yes, frustrating is a good one. <laughs> Mel says rehashing past messed up the now, messes up the now. (laughs) You think? Sure does. But there's no messing up. That's the other part. 
because everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. There are no mistakes. So even rehashing the past, messing up the now is what's happening right now. Separate itself always wants to get it right. There is no getting it right because there is no getting it wrong. Yes, it happened as it was. <clears throat> Hearts floating up are happening. I see hearts floating up. Emma says, does anything matter? Do you, do you mean, does anything mean anything? The only thing that gives meaning is the separated self. And that meaning creates a story. And then that story is what you base your, your separated self's um, experience on. Is that what you mean, Pamela? Maybe, I'm not sure. (laughs) I get it. I get it. But you understood what I said, right? Matter is just, if I'm correct, in reading your statement there, our uh, question, matter is just another word for meaning. Does anything mean anything? No. <laughs> the question is, if that's the question, no. This is a cup cupping. <laughs> for the character of Max... It's a cup cupping from Dollywood from that trip that I went on with my friends in Knoxville and we drove to Gatlinburg and I was so excited because I was going to Dollywood for the first. So that's matter. That matters. That's a meaning, right? And from that, then my character would create a significance. Well, I've been to Dollywood and you haven't. (laughs) Uh, or something like that. <laughs> Sue says, so did you have an experience at the theater or was it just happening and you had no reaction to it? No, I had a reaction when I was in the theater. Yeah, it it it, hap- it happened, but it's 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 not real because it's not happening. <laughs> and I had a reaction when I was there for sure. And I was yeah, that I didn't say (laughs) at the beginning when I was talking about this, I mean, people were asking me, you weren't, but people were asking me, what do you think of it? It's kind of a complicated thing of what I was thinking or what I was experiencing as I was watching the show. So I had an experience of this. I was, I was theater watching um, at that time, but there is no time. So it's, it's done. Now I can hold, Oh, I'll tell you this. We assign meaning. That's right, Meg. Um, so I'll tell you this. This is very interesting because if you if you know me, I'm a I was um, I'm a trained actor. I made my living as an actor for a very long time. Um, but I love the theater, and I live in New York City, and I go to a lot of theater. Right. So in the bottom drawer of one of my um, chest of drawers is a ton, a ton of every single playbill of every show I've ever seen since I moved here 27 years ago. There's a lot, there is a ton, there is a ton. And so I can go through those and go, oh my God, this is when I saw Rent for the first time. Oh my God, this is when I saw whatever, right? So the character will be like, oh yeah, I remember that, 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 that. there's a story, but that's, that, that's over, it's over. It's over. It's not real. Right? 
Happiness in a box, <laughs> Tiffany's. Who loves the other two? Yeah. So I just go, I just pick it up and put it in there. And um, oh, this is interesting. And then we'll wrap up. So there's only this happening, right? So I have been having this purging of books, right? Over the last couple of weeks. And today I'm going to do some more of it. Where, where I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. These books that I've held on to, right? I'm like, there's no resonance at all anymore. I'm not getting rid of all my books, but I'm like, no, boom, no, boom, 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 boom. Because it's not, it, it's the, <clears throat> the separate self that was Max when they read the book is no longer, it's no longer, it's not there anymore. So I have no relation at all. I don't have a relationship at all. Anyway, there's no me, so it doesn't matter. But we're truly seeing like, this means nothing. Whereas maybe six months ago, I'm like, oh, don't, don't let go of that book. Because I'm still connected to my story. Now I'm like, meh, meh. Okay. It's read and done. <laughs> We have stuff that doesn't mean anything. It helps. It does help. To, well, it does help. But yes, exactly. I mean, that's always good advice for sure. 